Welcome back to the David Pakman Show. Back, back on the David Pakman Show. David Pakman here. You know, last week, Lewis, we played the first live game on the show, which was Has Lewis Ever? And uh, we actually had a winner who won a free David Pakman Show membership. Today, we're trying a slightly different game, and I think we're going to go to Roxanne in San Diego, who has been patiently waiting. We're going to play the Does Lewis Know game. Hey, Roxanne. Hi. Are you ready to play? I'm very ready. Do you do you think that you have a grasp on what Lewis does and does not know? Um, kind of. He he kind of surprises me sometimes with his answers on things. So maybe. <laughs> yeah, we're all pretty. We're often surprised by Lewis. So the way this will work is, I'm going to give you three questions. I'm going to ask the question to Lewis. Before he answers, all you have to do is say, "I think Lewis knows," or "I don't think Lewis knows." We'll hear from Lewis. You get two out of three. You'll get a free T-shirt or membership, okay? Okay. All right, question number one to Lewis. And talk me through this because I want to know the psychology of how— I, I want to hear your, your reasoning here. The question to Lewis is, who was George H.W. Bush or Bush Sr. or Bush 1's vice president, okay? Does Lewis know the answer to that question? I think he knows. You think Lewis knows. Okay, Lewis, who was George H.W. Bush's vice president? This is embarrassing. I don't know. You don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Roxanne, this isn't going well, is it? No. <laughs> okay. The answer, of course, is Dan Quayle. Okay. Wow. Well, that I'm, I have to say, I thought this was the easy question. I'm a little bit shocked here. Um, let's go to question number two. Who was the only U.S. president not to be elected as president or vice president? In other words, he was not voted in to either of those offices. Do you think Lewis knows that, Roxanne, from San Diego? Um, judging on his last answer, no. <laughs> okay, Lewis, not inspiring confidence here. Do you know the, what is the, what is the answer? Good call, Roxanne, I do not know. <laughs> Lewis does, if you, wow. Okay, that's good for Roxanne. What uh, if you had to guess? Who would you say? Just it doesn't count. She got this one right. I, I really don't know. You don't know. No. Natan, tell us the story. What is the what is the explanation on that one? Um, the answer is Gerald Ford, who was well Nixon's right. vice president resigned. He became vice president, and then when Nixon resigned, he became president. All right. So question number three. This is we're one for one and one right now. The free membership or T-shirt for Roxanne from San Diego depends on this question. We're playing Does Lewis Know? The question is this. World War II was fought between the Allies and the Axis powers. Who were the three Axis powers? Who were the bad guys, uh, in quotes, in World War II? I, I have a sense of whether Lewis knows this or not, but I will go to Roxanne here. Do you think Lewis knows the answer to that? I... You have a sense whether he knows that probably means that he does. No, I'm scared. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll say he knows. Okay, so what we have here is a situation where we need three countries from Lewis. If Lewis can name the three Axis powers from World War II, we have a winner here. I think I know whether Lewis knows or not. Lewis, please indulge us with your historic knowledge. I think I've got this one. Okay. All right. Ger oh, yeah. Germany. Okay. Japan. Yeah. Italy. Lewis has gotten it right. Congratulations oh <laughs> to Roxanne. Roxanne has won the first edition ever of Does Lewis Know? And um, a, a little bit embarrassing in terms of Lewis could not come up with Dan Quayle. I know we will get emails about that. But all, <laughs> I guess, for the greater good. Roxanne, do you think you will go with the T-shirt the or the membership? The membership. All right. See, I like that because it's uh, I like that. We can get that set up right away instead of having to mail something out, you know? Yeah, why not? All right, congratulations, Roxanne. We'll contact you afterwards, and we will we'll get everything all set up. And at least someone winning something as a result of Lewis not having some basic historical data, right? Very much so, yeah. Glad okay. I could help. Glad I could help. Thanks, Roxanne. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. All right, so if you want to play Does Lewis Know or Has Lewis Ever or any other variations, add us on Skype, David Pakman Show, all one word, Tell me you want to play next week because we'll have more of these games. The game may be similar. It may be different. Who knows? Maybe it will be how many push-ups can Lewis do and then we start the push-ups and see how many we can get to. I don't know. I'm open to a variety of games. Let's not get carried away. No, we won't.